Hello, my name is Jared Wright. Uh, today I will discuss my topic, the relationship between anxiety, working memory, and thought suppression. Uh, there were several reasons as to why I decided to choose this as the focus for my literature view. While reading the Matlin text, a couple sections stood out to me. Uh, it mentioned that those with depressive or anxiety-related disorders may struggle with thought suppression. It also discussed how those with test anxiety may show reduced performance compared to others. Finally, it discussed how stereotype threat may cause anxiety in test takers, possibly explained by the anxiety reducing working memory capacity. It may also promote negative thoughts to suppress, which further impact working memory. When writing the literature review, uh, the objective of my paper was to further explore the relationships and show any correlations between the three points of interest, anxiety, working memory, and thought suppression. To do so, I focused on three main subtopics discussing anxiety and a lack of thought suppression, anxiety and deficits in working memory, and a lack of thought suppression and deficit in working memory. Now, in order to discuss correlations between anxiety and thought suppression, I covered several studies which looked into whether or not high anxiety individuals have more frequent difficulties suppressing thoughts compared to low anxiety individuals, most of which used an adaptation of the white bear model that we read uh, in the Matlin text. One in particular that I feel is important to mention was the study from Dyler, Herman, and Fallgauter which offered very important insight for my review. It found that those with high anxiety trying to suppress thoughts reported significantly more intrusive thoughts than those of low anxiety in an equivalent group. Now, while moving to the topic of anxiety and working memory, an important study for this section was done by Vital, Arkin, Overstreet, Laborman, and Grillen, uh, which I referenced several times in my uh, review. The study compared working memory performance of low anxiety individuals who induced feelings of anxiety with that of high anxiety individuals. Essentially, as the complexity of the working memory task increases, those low in anxiety are able to shift focus from an item causing anxiety to the task at hand and increase their performance. Those high in anxiety are unable to do this, and their performance continues to decrease. Which brings us right into the impact of thought suppression on working memory. It is possible that those with high anxiety having difficulty suppressing thoughts surrounding topics that make them anxious can further decrease working memory performance. As I'm sure you'll recall, inhibition is an active process, and this attempted suppression of thoughts can be an exhausting task for the central executive which is limited. It is this division of attention between thought suppression and other tasks at hand that will likely lead to further reduction in overall performance. So regarding the overall take home message for this review, it seems that there is a notable difference for how those with anxiety related disorders suppress thoughts and perform working memory tasks. It seems likely that anxiety promotes unpleasant thoughts and makes it more difficult to suppress them. Anxiety disorders have a negative impact on working memory performance, even when compared to low anxiety individuals who have induced a state of anxiety. This negative impact is furthered by actively attempting to suppress those thoughts. That about does it for me today. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.